We are going to add two three-digit numbers using an open number line. There are multiple ways that you can use the open number line to add your two numbers. I'm going to show you a few. You can start with the larger number, 347, and then we can add on the second three-digit number. So there's a one in the 100s place, so we can start by adding 100 which would give us 447. Then there is six tens in the tens place. So we can do that multiple ways. We can just add 60. Knowing if a student knows right away that four tens plus six tens is 10 tens. So we would get 507. And then add eight ones. This can be added by five, which is 512. And then three more which would be 515. So that's one way. Another way could be again to start with the larger number, 347, and then add on 100, which gives you 447. This time we could break up the 60 into three groups of 20. So 20, 20, 20, it depends on what's easier for the student. 447 plus 20 is 467 plus 20 more is 587 plus 20 more is 507. Then we can add our eight ones by adding five, which makes 512, and then adding one, two, three, which gives us 515. I'll show you two more. So again, our number is 347 plus 168. We can start with 347 again, add the 100, and then take the six tens and break them up into, take the 60 and break it up into six tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six adding 10 each time. And then adding the eight ones. You can add eight individual ones. I like to do the five and the three. So 447 plus 10, 457, 10 more. 467, 10 more. 477, 10 more. 487, 10 more. 497, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then this 10, 507 plus five is 512, plus three is 515. So that is the sum. You can also start with the smaller number. So if we have 168, we can add the 300s from 347. So I can do it all together as 300 or I can separate it into three separate hundreds. So 300 more would be 468. And I have four tens, 40. I think I'm gonna do 20 and 20. 488, 508. And then I'm gonna add the seven I'm gonna add two to get to 10, and then add five to get to 515, okay? So it all depends on how the child is flexible with their numbers and their thinking. There's so many different options with the open number line. It can seem confusing in the beginning, but once you understand how you get to choose what numbers work for you, it makes so much sense, and there's so many different ways to solve your problem. So we added two three-digit numbers using the open number line.